영원히 stay g o d and never let go. Hi. Yeah, there's a lot of clothes there. I was drying stuff yesterday. Whatever. We are doing another tag. Um, surprisingly, this one is not for the Secret Santa. I was tagged by Casa K-pop. It's probably Casa K-pop. Um, so the link to that video will be in the description box and her channel. Subscribe. It is the K Music Current Favorites tag. Um, so there's ten questions and three bonus questions. So we'll just go through them. Um, yeah, this was a really interesting tag, and I had a lot of fun thinking about the answers. Um, yeah, so let's begin. So question number one is, what is your current obsession? And this can be groups, solos, dance, songs, whatever. You just um, you think about it and stuff. So um, right now my current song obsession, I would say, is Jenny's solo. I just have been really enjoying that song, really vibing to the song. It's cute. At first, I was like, really, Teddy? You trying to make her like a Gashina because you couldn't think of nothing new? But then it started growing on me, and the English rap was like too lit for my life. So that's like my favorite song at the moment. But my album choice has been twice's yes or yes i'm just completely in love with that album i think the songs are so great i love the title song love the b-sides um la 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 um what's the other one shit i'm blanking say you love me or would you love me say you love me song number two that one's really good as well um, Sunset, just a great six song album, and I think I might like it more than I liked What Is Love. Um, yeah, so those are my like current obsessions. And question number two is favorite collaboration, and I haven't really been listening to a lot of collabs like that, but I guess I would say my favorite collab at the moment is the Steve Aoki and BTS Wasted On Me. I really like that song, it's really cute, it's really catchy. Um, at first, you know, it, when it said featuring BTS, I was like, oh my gosh, amazing, BTS in an all English song now, it's really just Ratmon and Jungkook, and then I heard some Jimin background vocals, so I was like, mm. but it's a, it's a nice song, it's enjoyable, it's a listen, yeah, um, so question number three is favorite choreography. This one I really didn't come up with an answer to because I haven't been watching a lot of live stages and um music videos like that like i'll check out the new music videos but then i'm not really paying attention to the dancing as much as i am to the song so i'm leaving this one like a, it's ambiguous i don't know i don't have an answer for it um i guess i would say i kind of like the get cool i guess i guess we could say that's the answer because this I, I think it was i thought it was really cute so maybe it's that stray kids get cool we'll just put it I guess I guess it could I guess we could say it's that. Question number four. Most addicting song of 2018. Um, for me at the moment, I would say it's Produce 48's Rolling, Rolling, Rolling. Yeah. Took a no more bum, you to shake it, shake it, shake it. Whoo, freak it hot. Chum chugo shipo, chum chugo shipo. Took a my, took a my, took a my heart. Eat a look at my cheek, like you. Chum be that nail, chum be that nail. Rolling, rolling, rolling. See, obviously, it's really addicting if I know the whole chorus. Okay. It's a, it's a really catchy song. It's so catchy. If you haven't listened to it, Produce 48, rolling, rolling, get your life. That song will be stuck in your head for days upon days upon listens yes rolling 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 yeah okay question number five which rookie groups or artists are your current favorites keeping it consistent with the produce 48 eyes one um i really have been enjoying color is that album is great um Beautiful colors. Have you ever seen anything? Adam down sick. Adam down sick. Really nice. Really great. Uh, of course. Then there's oh my, oh my, and 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 Jerry. I love it. Um, that one at first I was like, hmm, <coughs> but it's grown on me a lot. Like Honda Hitomi and Nako's parts where they're just like, 
oh, 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 eh, oh. Come back here, mamma mia, fantasia. Like, too catchy. It's a really cute song. And of course, la la la, la Vian Rose. La Vian Rose. Duh. That is like the song, y'all. That is the song. I like that song a lot. It's really great. Ooh, ichi ma, yagi sign and rose. Onde na be na suike. La la la, la vion rose. Ooh. Yeah, I like that song. And then, um, my boy Ricky group is Stray Kids. Stray Kids is, 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 is doing it for me, man. I flex with the Stray Kids heavy. Love them. Like, I am not, it was a cute album. And then I am who I was like, woo, woo. This album is with the shits. It is lit. It's everything that I could have asked for. And then uh, I am you. So good, so good. I just I'm, I've been loving them. So those are my rookie groups. Um, question number six: Has your bias list stayed the same or been wrecked? Well, my top top biases have stayed the same. It's like still it's Myung Su, Baekhyun, Chanyeol, Joshua, Unwu, JR from Newest, and Kwanlin. But for group wise, there's been some <clears throat> in the palace. So Stray Kids, my bias is Hyunjin. He's like my number one. And then there's like three big old ass bias records. Like it's Hyunjin. And then it's Ayan, Jongin, Changbin, and then Chan. All three of them is just kind of like boop. So duh, that is what it is. And then Monster X, <laughs> we're not even going to talk about them because I just don't know anymore. My bias since the debut has been Min Hyuk. But as of these past few comebacks, he's not been the one to been to be like, oh, to me, you know, I'm like, usually my bias, every time I see them in a comeback, they always give me something new, something fresh. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. But I don't know. I've really been feeling Hyung Won. Um, I am Wanho and Shonu recently with this shootout. He been looking real good with the whole titty bump, titty bounce. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And yeah. So I've been like trying to watch Monster X-Ray season three, trying to figure out is Min Hyuk still my boo or is it someone else? I don't know. So at this point I have no bias in Monster X because I'm just a conflicted person, but I did buy this. Tony Moly lip tint from Monster X with the collaboration and um this is the chili pepper red wine house color yeah so I don't we don't know we don't know the bias in Monster X it's just a mystery question number seven favorite duet subunit um <laughs> this is a subunit newest W like duh they're coming back soon. And I'm so excited. But that's who my favorite subunit is at the moment. Question number eight. What type of music genre or concept would you like to see more of? Um, cutesy. There's always a lot of cutesy. There's always a lot of girl crush. There's always a lot of sexy. Uh, not so much recently, but you know. Um, a lot of school concepts. A lot of, you know. I like a good fantasy concept. Um, Cosmic Girls The Secret, that was real cute. That was like really nice. I liked it. The aesthetics was everything. So definitely more fantasy concepts. I also love a good scary concept. Like, give us something truly terrifying. Question number nine. Favorite album, albums. Um, well, I would say... My favorite album of this year has been Wanna One's second mini album. I promise you, just it's always been on a constant repeat on the back burner. It's always there, and I'm always enjoying listening to it. So it's been the most played album, and yeah, uh, Wanna One. But that is that is definitely the album so far, y'all. Plus, shout out to Wanna One. You're the group this year that made me spend the most money on you, albums wise. Because it was two, I promise you, six, six Undivideds, and then it's going to be two Power of Destinies, plus I bought the concert DVD, the light stick, and the summer package. Holy shit, 101. You're turning in, you're, you replaced 17 this year, because 17 last year for me was 
take my money. But yeah, so one on one, I promise you. Question number 10, what is your K-pop unpopular opinion? Well, my K-pop unpopular opinion is that all these unpopular opinion videos are getting old and tired and repetitive, so I'm just done with them. I thought they were nice in the beginning, but now I'm just like, okay, moving on, next, I don't care, like, good for you, you have your opinions, I have mine. I think that all the videos are dumb now. Because everyone is basically repeating the same shit or reiterating it in a slightly different manner. And, like, you're not really saying anything new anymore. So, that's my opinion. And then the last three questions, the bonus questions. Question one of the bonus is, there any artists slash groups you would recommend people to listen to? There is a solo artist called Cacophony. C Cacophony? Link in the description box. Um, I watched the reaction from React to the K, and they did a reaction to Breathe and Rosetta, and then a full album listen to the full length album. And it was so different and so new and so fresh that I checked it out and I loved it. So the links to the songs Breathe and Rosetta will be in the description box. Check it out. She has a really haunting voice and a really interesting musical style. There's a lot of musical elements, especially in Rosetta, that you like wouldn't expect to be in the song and wouldn't expect to work together. But surprisingly, it comes together and just fits. It makes a great song. It's a very interesting listen. So, Cacophony. Question number two of the bonus. Any comebacks that you're looking forward to? I'm looking forward to Newest W, Red Velvet, and The Boys, and Newest is three versions, then I'm going to buy one of The Boys and Red Velvet. So that's six albums. No. That's five albums. Where did I get six from? Whatever. Um, so Newest W, Red Velvet, and The Boys, those are what I'm looking forward to, um, and those will probably be the last albums that I buy physically this year. I did ask for some albums for Christmas. So I might get some more then, but as of me, personally, Newest W, Red Velvet, and The Boys are the last things that I'm spending my money on for K-pop. Um, and then question number three of the bonus, the last question. Which comeback or artists do you think got overlooked slash were special to you? Um, so the comeback that's really special to me, which happened today as I'm filming this video, was 101's full-length album, Power of Destiny. It's a special one because it's a full-length album. No um, Produce 101 thing as of now had gotten a full-length album, so they did it first. And it's the last comeback, so it's like there's a twinge of sadness that pangs the heart every time I think about it. And yeah... Power of Destiny, that's a special one. And then a comeback that was completely overlooked because the company decided not to promote it and they only had one live stage on like M Countdown or something was Astro with their album Rise Up and their song Always You. That was like the special album for the fans this year. Really, what the hell is going on with Astro? Like they didn't have a real comeback this year. So they completely got overshadowed and I don't think that that's something that they should be doing because what the fuck, Fantagio? Astro is not a poppin' group. They have yet to really blow up. The only person that they are focusing on is Unwoo. And as much as I love my boo Unwoo, like, that's all we're starting to know of Astro. It's like, Unwoo, the rest of them. And I'm like, I can see it happening now, you know? But that whole entire album comeback got overshadowed, overlooked, because no one was no one was paying attention. Unless you were a, a fan and you knew it was coming, Everyone else was kind of just like, whatever. Um, yeah, and this is going to be my bias speaking, but you decided to push two Weeki Miki comebacks that were not very good, kind of lackluster in my opinion, um, but you couldn't give Astro a real comeback to promote on music shows? What the fuck, Fantagio? We all know Astro is more popular than Weeki Miki, but you know. You're trying to push your girl group, but you still haven't been able to pop your boy group get it together but yeah so that was all the questions 13 questions for the current k-pop faves tag and i will be leaving it there thank you again costa k-pop for tagging me i had a really great time thinking of these answers and if you guys want to do it the questions are in the description box get tagged do a video comment whatever just let's discuss and i will see you on the next video. Bye!